Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. Soul Family Read it's for the 17th of November, 2021, a year that will live in infamy. I am now certain. But this read is around manifestation, spirituality, love, and relationships. Using the my uh, Rider Waite deck's oldest deck. Yeah, it's very simple, very uh, straightforward. It looks all C and I. Um, I just want to use it. It's like an old pair of jeans or something. You know, it's like torn up, but you feel comfortable in them. What? They're just the ones you always want to wear. I was just gonna do the four card reading today. Let's see where uh, that gets us here, guys. Wow. Accolades gets us accolades here with the six of wands energy. Well, I remember uh, I've been a while since I used it. How kind of direct this is. You still uh, see the reef here, the laurels, you know. Um, and that's a great energy coming into this read with kind of I like to see it as where we are in and around manifestation, spirituality, love. In relationships, you know, kind of on our spiritual path. I do now read bottom of the deck pretty heavily in this because you know, it's only a four card spread. King of Cups coming in. Can I imagine that the King of Cups, this master of emotions, has uh, some part of ourselves has achieved a victory? You know, as if maybe would think as the king maybe would send off a certain knight, maybe the knight of wands to accomplish something through actions. And like it's paid off. Yeah, that's something, huh? Like it we it worked. Moving from like watery connection to our emotions. Talk about watery connections to our emotions into action and we're getting a, awarded for it uh rewarded for it and um accolades for this now this is what's blocking us it's a beautiful car even in this uh, simple rider weights form you know it's uh pure intuition the the real high priestess you know that knows as the no time sees beyond time is uh sees into the spiritual realms that uh works on the other side of the veil that might be the difference between the high priestess and the hair font too hair font works in this world high priestess works uh, in Neptunian world spiritual world but this is now think of it as reversed energy because this is what's blocking us so it's blocking this King of Cups energy. This is overall, it's like this is where we're at. You know, it doesn't mean, maybe it could speak to but certainly water in our chart, maybe particularly cancer energy in our chart. Let's see what the advice is to deal with this. It's pretty heavy. Justice. Now, this is the advice from Spirit. For us, and I, I love how well you can see it, and it is such a simple but elegant card. If we're going to look at Cancer energy here, we're going to look at Libra energy. It's been busy recently with Scorpio, uh, now Scorpio, Mars, and Mercury there, um, scheming <laughs> something going on there. I believe like something that's something personal. Maybe that's what's involved here. Has to do with what your your Mars could be Mars action here, getting something, going for something and achieving it here. But if there's something here, it's not in alignment, like with your best path or something. That's how I would read this as being blocking. And that's maybe where justice comes in. I think it's talking about, for us, and I can relate to this, it's like a need to, and, and I'll go ahead and say not rest on our laurels here, not rest on our laurels, as it were. Um, um, 
and justice is being called up here and if it's advice from spirits like we should go with our calling now that's basically what this is about it's time to go with our calling uh, here excuse me trying to get a tight focus on the cards today okay um so there's stuff going on here it's like here another way to look at this here we took action the king and the consequences are this uh, victory it might have been something we did fast something we did flashy something we did was brave something we did was outspoken um that kind of thing dramatic in any way um but it was something we missed we was hidden from us because our intuition we weren't listening to we weren't seeing something and this is what we're being advised to deal with here i think it's kind of like aligning with my higher self and my actions then become different um, and will have different consequences it, I mean, what I think what I, I just got this. What could be what we're not seeing with the high priestess here being reversed is um, um, we're not seeing like what how do I put this. What could have been like uh, if we had maybe let's just say had more faith and uh, maybe say delayed action or taken more consideration made sure we really understood where we were at which is indicating we we didn't uh we still don't um you know maybe we had a good outcome right but maybe we could have had a fantastic outcome just saying could be um and that's kind of the energy here and justice just us being doing what we kind of know we need to do being called up knight of wands okay um oh, i got two okay oh wow oh it's like let's put an emphasis on this so the knight of wands for the outcome along with the eight of wands but the knight of wands looking back at the eight of wands this is going to open up a flurry of activity uh, you might even understand, like, the thing, like, you could have gotten a better uh, outcome out of your energy. And maybe it's even still possible. You're going, yeah, yeah, I know. You somehow spin something some way or punch something up another way. And, like, get more bang for your buck. But this is all kinds of uh, going for it. Mars is uh, actions, always actions. Wands are actions. And eight of wands. Um, I I gotta read this a little bit, like the cavalry. Like, see, it's co both of these are coming at you. It seems like fire sign energy. I could see it maybe as Jupiter and Aquarius. It is Jupiter still. It's the great benefic. It's fire. But something's coming at you to help you, and this is some kind of action. And could it be as a result, again, of what you enacted in the first place here? Um, so maybe just consider the fact that uh, we could have even had more, as good as we got. <laughs> and we could have even had more, or even could have more still, if we um, make an adjustment. And it has to kind of do... I guess I would call it like submission to, you know, source uh, to my own conscience, submission, you know. And it would be the point at which I, and I honestly I don't think I'm there, but man, you know, I feel it like I'm getting close. It's no matter what happens, you, you're really able, I'm able to think, yes, this somehow is meant to be, you know, um, and it doesn't mean I can't do everything I can to always make things better for myself you know um it's just talking about here by fully aligning with our with justice kind of aligning with our spiritual self to me soul self um you could kind of say crudely we're going to get more bang for our buck maybe put it that way hmm? thank you guys